am back with another hairstyling video and today we're going to do one of my favorite favorite hairstyles the crown braid first i'm going to fluff out my hair a bit work on my parting and add a bit of provana leave-in conditioner i'm going to spray it generously and tousle the hair a little bit get it in there real good and as i mentioned in my previous video this is after a week and a couple days now of a wash and braid out Showing you the length of my hair and back around a little bit of separating in a look and now we're going to go ahead and divide the hair in sections and you can tell that I'm starting back way back way back behind the ear and dividing my hair into sections into front and back you can see the middle part I kind of combed over a bit I'm concerned with how I distribute the length and also, uh, you know, trying to get a little bit of coverage of my crown area because as I mentioned in a previous video, I do have CCCA, which is a type of alopecia, which I am currently treating. Also for my next washes, I'm going to stop using hooded dryers because in my reading and research, I found that it does impact CCCA and I don't want to contribute to that issue. Here I'm beginning the braiding process carefully keeping three sections, dividing as I create the braid and grabbing a section of the hair with every twist of the three sections. Being mindful that I'm grabbing all of the hair that I sectioned off so that it is neatly placed within a section of the braid. And as you can see, along the way, I am braiding and twisting But uh oh, I got to a point where I felt like it wasn't neat enough. The braid was not fat enough. And so I started over. And I have to add that as I try styles, it is trial and error and I frequently mess up. And when I do, I just start again. I'm not aiming for perfection, but I do want it to look as neat as it can. I am preparing my hair right before work. And so as such, I don't have all day to make a perfect style. So I want it cute enough so I can go and do what I have to do for the rest of the day. And so as I go along, as I see stray and misplaced hairs, I put them in place, I tuck them. Note that I pulled the braid a little bit over the ears so that the braid wouldn't fold down my ear or touch my ear too much. Now this section, it gets a little rough because I'm trying to determine how much hair from the back section I should include with the crown braid. So the braiding is rough and this is getting tired. And you see, I had to kind of go back and rebraid, grab all those sections in the back, showing you there what it looks like in the back, grabbing those sections and adding them to the braid. Loosely though, I don't want the braid to be too taut. And I continue to braid until I get to the end of the section of hair. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm going to use a tiny elastic to close the braid. And there is the back view. And now that I've completed the braid, I'm going to tuck it using a medium elastic. And that is the final look. 
I'll do a turn or two to show you what the braid looks like. I'm not completely satisfied with the placement, so I will adjust, show you the back again. And oh, I'm off. Gotta get some earrings. You know what? These are a pair of my favorite earrings. I do believe I bought them from Shop Pop. If I can find the brand, I'll share it with you, but they are older. There we go, we got our earrings. Now it's time for outerwear. And I'm adding a leather blazer that I thrifted. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you'd like to see more of my Sister Locks content, I will leave a playlist here for you, and I'll see you next time.